as we said, the Earth, as we are all aware, even though we walk on a solid part, is on a bed of rotating molten material. And inside that molten metal, for years, the assumption was that the blanketing of so much material on the top creates the heating of the inside, and that's why it's warm. And that's why we have molten metal. In fact, with evaluation, and evolution in the science and what we have released and other scientists have, now we have a very clear idea, more or less, that the heating of the center of the planet is created due to the interaction of the plasma of different strength, matter, nanomaterial, and the rest, and the interaction of the fields of these with each other in different directions and positions creates both gravitational and magnetical field of the planet. Where the release of the plasmatic field with different matter states in the reduction from the high plasmatic field strength to low matter state interaction leads to the heating of the material and then in heating it creates due to interaction of the matter and the plasma of the field into the rotation of the planet in the clock or anti-clockwise. But at the same time, as the further you come, you'll find different materials which is on the gaseous part of the planet in interaction with the matter part lead to creation of what we call the oceans or whatever. You call it mountain range, you call it mountains, land part mass, and the rest. So, what we see is, if you understand the principle of how plasmatic magnetic field inside the center of the planet, in reduction in strength in interaction with the other matter state or the field state, doesn't matter if it's a liquid or gas, leads to motion of the whole structure where stronger field with a weaker field interaction creates a motion as part of the energy is dissipated as heat and the rest is motion. And if you understand this, you understand how the upper part is a floating boat on the magma. Where does not matter how deep the oceans go and how high the mountains are developed. The whole structure is within the structure of floating magma, which is forced and dictated by the fields of the gravitational magnetic field strength of the center of the plasma of the planet. This applies the same to a star, applies the same to any moon, applies the same to a plasma of a proton or plasma of an electron. At the boundary of the interaction is the conformation of the physicality where there is a both gravitational and magnetic field balance. In this process, our planet is no different than the others. The magma moves, what has become solid moves on top of it. Somewhere at the bottom, in a very gray area, the totality comes together. But, this part has connection both with the matter and the magma. So, whatever is on the top, is on the float. And if you have a mass, and you can penetrate part of it, and weaken it, you can bend it. If you have a piece of metal, or you have a piece of paper, if you cut into it, and then play with it, you break it, you bend it, you do whatever you like with it. And somehow, in the past history of this planet, in the occasion, we do not know, it's been indicated to be through hitting of a meteorite in the Mexican Gulf, 
that we see a split in the structure of the northern and the southern part of a continent. So, a weakness in this structure has been created, which sits at this moment somewhere around Panama. If you understand this, now you have very much a continent in one piece. Fabio, could we have a camera, please? The, what you have is what it was a solid piece. Now it has a dent in it. And this dent we call Gulf of Mexico. But in so many ways, further down and everything else with it, you go further down, there is another below Gulf of Mexico and the rest of it. We have a weakness in this position. And if you understood that the whole structure of this planet is on a revolving magma, which is rotating anticlockwise, then you understand, now that you have a weakness, and the magma is moving, now you see what's happening. The southern American continent is floating away on the direction of the float of the magma. But there is another factor into this, that this magma is not just floating in one direction, is floating in the other direction too. And it's done this for millions of years. And now it's come to the point that it cannot be. You get a piece of metal and bend it back and forth, up and down, in two different directions, push, it'll break up. And this break is now in this point on this planet. This has been developing because it's been part of the same, what we see on the west coast of United States, on the Pacific Ocean. This tearing apart has been taking place, and we call it ring of fire, because it goes to the other side, because it's pulling itself apart, because it's connected by Pange on the top to the rest of the mass, Asian continent, African, European continent. So this, as it's getting pulled over past centuries, in ripping apart, has been creating an opening for it to happen. And that's why we see the Ring of Fire. Because that's why we see the volcanic eruptions. The whole material is pulling apart. It has to give way. So now, we understand the process of why we have the ring of fire. We understand when you have this and you have matter-state connection, in tearing apart in the continental plates, this has been creating what we call the earthquakes, it's been the heavy earthquake zones. And then on the other side of this, which sits, the Asian continent has to react too. So it's under pressure and on the contraction. It's getting pulled by magma in one end through Indian Ocean, under the Indian Ocean, and by the other way, the pull from the top is both ways. The whole planet is continuously, has a heartbeat. It's exactly like your heart. It's moving. And in that process, the Southern American continent is on the verge of separation. That's why we see such a huge amount of earthquake activities in the past few years, in past decades and centuries, now has come to a massive separation. The separation, we announced this is about to happen. Never before any scientific organization or any papers spoke about the separation of two continents. I explained this for the first time last year, and now we see it in progress. Uh, when such a position takes place, to show it's correct, and we explain the pressures we're going to see on a southern European and on a Chinese 
line with Iran and the rest back into the place of the America to confirm it. Everything now in past few months coming together to confirm the correctness. So when the pressure is coming on the continental plates and is going up and down, so we should see huge activities on the line of the separation. Earthquake, geological, but the only problem which now appears, as we said, go back into my talks, with this separation, we feel the earthquake in Washington and New York. Because this separation is pulling apart, the bottom part is pulling, but the top part is locked into Panjir, into European continent, North uh, American part of the connection into the uh, North Pole mass, into the Asian continent and the rest of it. So this part is free. But this part, the top part, is pushing against the others. This can go, this can't go. So what it's doing is squeezing into this part, which now, this is why we start seeing massive earthquakes and volcanic eruption conditions in pushing the magma through in Yellowstone Park area. We start seeing huge pressure till this pressure is absorbed. The volcanic eruption will take place. The pressure is released. In releasing the pressure, it creates a shock. And in that shock, the continent will separate. But now the continent of America, Southern America, becomes a float. The back end of what is left as a northern continent, now that the push has gone, it will go to go back to normality of past centuries of separation push. This will create a feedback earthquake into Chinese. Japan, we saw Fukushima was the first sign of this kickback because the releases on the lower level plates have already started. And now we see the beginning of the separation and the start of the massive earthquake, massive volcanic eruptions, till the kickback comes in. But now this continent separated will go afloat. Will go afloat on the magma platform. This float is in that direction because the magma is moving that way. We've seen the earthquake in Gibraltar. We've seen earthquake in south of uh, Spain. We've seen on the same line, Austria, Switzerland, and Greece are reporting earthquake because this is coming this way. Now the pressure comes. There are two possibilities. The, what we call Gibraltar, if the pressure builds up, will close. If the Pangea can take the pressure of the continental Southern America release, will close the Suez Canal, because the continent will be pushed to close to take this pressure. Or this continent will twist backwards and becomes like Australia, a continent at the bottom. The geology of the planet will change, the atmospheric condition of the planet will change, not only due to the eruptions, but now we lose one of the biggest land mass of jungles, which supplies huge amount of energy on this planet, and the oxygen will disappear, because now it drops down, it's not on the equator line. This will happen over centuries, a thousand of years, if the planet is still here. But what's going to happen in the coming time, as I explained in the private teaching this week, this planet is like a wheel of a car. When you buy a tire and you put it on the, what you call it, your ring, you balance it. And you add a few grams here, a few grams there, on the balancing machine, that the rotation is perfect. 
So when this mass starts separating, which is bring with itself, the planet has to balance itself. And in that balancing, a lot of oceans, current flow, which is the balancing forces on this planet, will change. We cannot change the land mass, but waters of this planet are floating land mass. We will see different direction of the water flows, and this different direction of water flows will create new atmospheric condition on this planet. These will be felt within the next three to five years, that's imminent. But, on the other hand, the process of the development of the separation in the short term is seeding of a large number of the volcanic eruptions, the ring of fire will not exist. Because now, the totality pressure for separation has come out of the equation. But, in this process, we will see massive earthquakes, because everything now that is separate is trying to settle. We will see huge number of eruptions, which will disturb the atmospheric balance which our lives at this moment is depending on. You have too much dust in the air, no aircraft flies. Jetliners are landed. The economy of the Western world will come to a halt within the next 12 months. For sure, Northern American continents will become a landmass with only connections with donkeys, horses, if you can still drive a car, and large number of people will depart from the United States within the next few months. Because you cannot, if the correction, the calculation is correct, the amount of the ashes released by these volcanic eruptions on balancing the earthquakes to support the separation will cover most of the United States. In my writing, knowing this, a few weeks ago, to the world leaders, in a way which was a message passed on, is, would there be an election in November in the United States? Or, as we suggested, it is better for Senate to make a provision to appoint President Obama for a third term, because nobody will be there to run the nation except the man who is already in power. Now you understand why we address this on the political level as much as the economical level. You have to understand the economy of the United States is dependent on its military influences, which is created, financed by the British Isles and the Europeans, in losing the manpower of armed forces, the economy of the Europe will collapse in a matter of hours. The moment the eruption happens anywhere on this line, and the earthquakes, we lose the, what we call the false powerhouses of the world. Then, this brings Russia and China as the world leaders, both economically, and influentially. Look at the data which is raised by the American scientists in respect to the eruption, not what we do here. So, this is important, that is understood by the American government and by the European government. This is time of cleaning up. But, the process is very reverse. For 500 years, people of different continents took to America. Now, not much left, most of the land unusable, they'll go back home. Most of the nations have to be able to be ready for exodus back into their nation. People will claim every right, my grandfather was this, and my great-grandfather was Indian, I'm going back to India, because there is no America left, the way we know it. The process has started, we are witnesses to part of the evolution of the life of this planet, which we are passengers of the dry land. So, now you understand the extent of what is about to happen, and 
what I've asked, we shown in our teaching on Tuesday, private teaching, we bring it on the surface for you to see the data. This is what I explain in theory and what is sitting and how the process started. And now we go through the next step. Don't forget, Australia was separated through the same process millions of years ago. British Isle used to be part of a desert. If you go to Sheffield, in more or less center of England, there is a cement factory called Blue Circle. If you go there in the factory where they're digging the things out, one of the first things they tell you, this what we're digging was part of an ocean and a desert. That's why we can produce the sand we need from this area for our cement factory. I've been there. I lived in England. I did a project on that factory. Because the geology of the land at that time was important to me to understand. So, now we understand in the process what is going to happen. The American continent free, the Southern American continent free, the Northern American continent will flex back. It's literally, if you look at it, I brought you a stick. This is what it used to be. Fabio, can we see this on the camera? Or do you want me to come close? Is it there or is it gone? That's it. So what happened? This was the continent under pressure. It has broken and it's going to take apart. And we've seen the last part of this separation. And what happened, as you saw, when the break comes, this takes its position and this has to start floating on the magma. This is the position we are in now. And in this process, as the mass, the big mass, the Pangea itself, the main body of the Pangea on the top sits, it has to take the pressure of this change this way too. But this land mass is huge, can take pressure of Southern American continent with a little bit of changes. Changes will come with close of Gibraltar or opening of the Gibraltar in a different way. If Gibraltar opens up due to the pressure on the African part, then Suez Canal will close because Saudi Arabia, what we call mass, in here somewhere is the flexing point. Most probably we see the end of Persian Gulf too in hundreds of years because it will collapse. That way we see a massive flooding into the Central Europe or Western Europe by the way the process happens. But most of us will not be here to see this, but this is the process. We are witness in a frame as part of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you to show what we say about the separation is imminent, is from data. Uh, Rick, can we go back into the pictures and can I have a, a snapshot thing is that we can sh we can talk about it, please? This process will affect the life of every man on this planet. Every one of you who are listening will be affected. You have no choice. You have no choice. We, none of us have a choice, but there is a further solution. Can you open this up, please? into a frame. Can we have the earthquake in past 24 hours on this scale, please? Can you bring the American... Can we go a slightly different, because we don't see the North American continent? Okay, now, we have a whole of Africa back into the Asia. This is the earthquake in past 24 hours, am I correct? And the volcanic eruptions? Uh, yeah, 24 hours, and then just the eruptions are right here. Okay, these are the eruptions, and can we have the earthquakes, please? Yeah, they're all there. All the earthquakes are there in the past 24 hours. So the circles, oh, the, earthquakes, the size of the circle indicates bigger earthquakes, and then the actual erupting volcanoes are in the red triangles. Okay, this is what you see, and this is what we explain. That's the 24 hours. Look at the mass movement between the north and south. Can we go in past 48 hours, please? 
You have one which is the yellow and the red one. Can we have that one? Uh, let's see here. This would be the last week. Last week? It would be orange now. Yeah. And then... And last past two weeks, please. Here's the two weeks. And then if I bring in the volcanoes, here's the ones that are, say, like warning or minor activity in the orange triangles. Now you see what we speak about. The concentration of the earthquakes on this point, and you see Central America, you see Yellowstone area, you see the earthquakes on this, because now the pressure is going here. Once this let go in the next three to six months, this flex is back. All this are due to this expansion, and now you see what I explained. The feedback will go through China, exactly the line I explained eight months ago. We see Switzerland, Gibraltar, Austria, Greece will come into operation. And the indication are what I said before, the pressure of this continent will move close the Suez and the Persian Gulf. Because you see the... Uh, I lost it. You see, most of the activity sits here. Now we start seeing the activities here. We don't see activities anywhere else, which means the, the continent, Africa, will tilt. And this will close. And now what you see, the building of the pressure for separation is here. And this is getting pushed. You will see this. Seismological data confirms. And if you go back, we can go in the last year, then you will see a very clear pattern in what has happened and what is about to complete. Any of these volcanic eruptions come simultaneously. The more or less Pacific area will be totally darkened for a time to come. Zero flight zone. This is why I wrote to the governments in a very straightforward, have your naval forces ready for picking up as many boats as you can, as people will take into the oceans. And it, we are about to happen. This is on the verge. We estimate this winter, this autumn, it will be the last push where the push of the magma and a change of the season will bring this stuff in. And what we've seen in the activities in uh, this side of the United States confirms the pressure is building up. The building, if we can go on the 51 states, uh, seismological data. They have switched two. Recently they switched the third one off for a short time, brought it back on. It's so heavy that they don't want the state to go into panic state. But it shows the compression. That's why on 22nd, 23rd of this month, American government is putting into act, testing a nine scale earthquake testing. But that will be totally useless. The problem with this situation is because of the magnitude of the eruption. Nowadays, there is an earthquake. We fly things in. We try to get in fast. When you have these kind of eruptions, there is no flight. We have to rely on naval forces to be able to reach to support. Two months, three months. Are we going back to the situation of crossing the English Channel with a boat to get as many people as back from the shores of France? Because there is no flight. Now you understand two options left and why we are pushing with this technology development. First of all, as many people as learn in how to use the plasmatic fields, the GANs, the nanomaterials, the, what you call, 
um, Chinese are concentrating on Oasis system, the more people you can protect without the need, at least time, for another support. The other way, with the plasma technology of what you call magra positioning flight system, as you create the shielding, it's irrelevant if you're going through a dust, to go through the water, or you go through a volcanic eruption. You can reach, deliver, and be able to support life within minutes. Reaching, supporting American citizens will become duty of every man on this planet, and if we have a knowledge, we can do. But now, this is a pre-warning. The same goes with the government of Iran. On a feedback, on a kickback, as we see, the line of fire sits right across Iran. Southern France, Spain, Portugal will be more or less shaking like a bucket of jelly. We will not see much on the Chinese West Coast, but we'll see it through Japan. We'll see heavy involvement in the Japanese sector. Pressure will change in a drastic way, and then the odd earthquakes Chinese government can handle. The pattern, the picture is very clear. You cannot see, I try to go black. Oh, I'm there. I'm about to use this. The line is here. If you can't see it, I change it to a green, but you can see it better. You see the line? Yes, that works, thank you. And now, you see the warning we have given. It's to the benefit of governments to act now, not leave it when it's too late, because there will be no nation to have elections. When we announced in February, April, we saw immediate response from the White House in setting up organizations for the earthquake support. Now they're testing it, but Your Excellency President Obama, you're too late. Acted too late, delivered too late, and your nation will not be there to support it in the coming months. This is what we said, there is no need for armies, because all the armies of the world will become naval forces trying to save their own citizens and the others. You look, South America, millions affected. The whole of Central Asia, the Silk Road, will be totally devastated one after another. It's not going to happen overnight. One week here, next week there. There is not enough resources on this planet to support such a change. Unless we all get trained how to support ourselves. There will be no more or less Hawaii left, because it will take what is not taken by the earthquake and volcanic eruption will be taken by tsunamis. This will bring Earth into a new position on its own in the solar system. A warning goes to the world governments, hardly any of you will survive this one. The only possible, possible nation which can come out of this is China and US or Russia. Western Europe, we will not know anymore Western Europe because EU will break up because financially cannot support some 10 nations to be totally devastated. 
they all will claim their independence. They were good as much as they could rob each other. Now they have to support, they are not there, it doesn't exist. This is why in the past few months, in a very silent way, British are fully aware of my work. As I live there and they understand when I speak, they are speaking the separation from EU. Because they don't want to be in it when it's coming in. The rest will happen, one at a time. All the East Asian nations will be devastated. We've seen it in 2005, we'll see the repetition in the coming months and years. All these have to be readjusted, they've been pulled apart. And now when they let go, they have to go back to theirs to seal up, and these create new earthquakes. Most of the volcanic systems will shut down by the reefs of the southern American continent. The problem is how few million supporters of the Keshe Foundation around the world can bring this process to act. We leave the Americans to be. There is something I gave a warning to the Islamic world in the hidden code. Now I open it. When the American continent goes through such a change, the 52nd state of United States, Israel, will not exist because there is nobody to protect the Jews. It's the job of the Israelis to patch up very quickly. Because what you relied on, the father will not be there to feed you. They have too much to look after inside. The process is a natural, is not planned by no one. Maybe it's the time of correction. The Arab states, the Palestinians, will not let Israel exist for one minute. They've done wrong enough to be cleaned up. So, now we see the danger sitting on the horizon, and why we call for rapid move in September, for unification of mankind, before we get to this position, bury the hatches, whatever has happened wrong to each other, we have, we don't to each other. But, when that earthquake goes, when the Yellowstone and other volcanic eruptions goes, when there is no transportation across the United States to get and launch rockets, there will be no State of Israel. This is why we call on the government of China to take the leadership for the human race at this stage. Because it's the only nation financially, politically correct and solid that can carry this through. Now, you hear about little earthquakes, little eruptions, but when you put it in a map like this, you see it, as we are watching it, new circles are getting added. If you watch this in the background, you see continuously circles are getting added in the same line. Updating is not as it was when we started. A few has happened. You see it, it just came in here. We just see additional yellow there. The process of the separation will change the food chain supply, will change the energy supply the way we are used to it, will change the whole structure of the geopolitic on this planet. And it all started and there is no way anybody can stop. The clock is ticking. My advice to the American government is stop the whole election process, stop investing all the money in how you can develop different technologies that you can save your nationals. And the other point is, once this happens, this is what I said in the talk a couple of days ago, up to now, 
the Africans and the Asians needed a visa and a passport. We check it before you can come because we have used you for centuries. You got used to it. American passport needs clearance at least 12 months. You have to clear. You never touch the gun. You have to clear. You never kill the man. You have to show you've never bought any shares. But unfortunately, your central data is gone. You stay where you are. There will be no rooms for animal behavior. And this is where we are on the right time to deliver what we are supposed to do. You have a European passport, you are grounded because you raped the world for centuries. Now you stay where you are because we don't want you anymore. The position is very clear. This is not a doomsday, this is the evolution of the physiological planet living a life and now a child separating from the mother. You see how if you patch Australia into it, where it came from, the same position more or less will happen to Southern American continent. The pressures are too high, will not go to fit in, it will twist. It will literally go this way and the Southern American continent, if you can get a color to it, will be somewhere here. Because the force of the magma is much freer on this end, will push this tip in and this end will follow it in. Central African nations stay solid. Russian and Chinese most part will stay solid. Part of the Silk Road will be affected. Himalaya will go. Everest will play new game. Damawan in Iran will blow within the next few months because it's part of the pressure now is getting a squeezed. You see in the earthquakes, the pressure is building up this way. Uh, we can't hear anything anymore. Uh, I guess the battery is empty again. Uh, yeah, Mr. Keshe, we seem to have we seem to have lost your audio there. No doubt the batteries. We need some plasma batteries for that thing. I think. Yep. Yeah. I think Mr. Keshe will be back in just a minute here. Am I back? Hello. Yes. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Now, a battery gone. Imagine the whole nation goes. You hear nothing. Don't forget, the effect of this process is huge. Because all these will start bursting into atmosphere. And some of this dust eventually block and affect the satellite communication is huge. The implication of what is about to happen has started, not so about it. It's already started. We see it every minute a shake and a tumble and we see more and more higher magnitudes, four and five, and more frequent, less frequent in different part of the world. The pin was taken when the Chile happened last year. The earthquake on the west coast of Chile was the parallel to everything which was about to go. And we see massive amount of earthquake around Peru. Because Peru is about to go.
we'll see the end to most of these volcanic and earthquakes. East Asia becomes a safe place to be in 20 years. Because all these volcanic eruptions finish. The level of the sea will change drastically. Because up to now, the Pangea has kept the little boy, Southern America, afloat. Now it has to find its own position. It will rise. The level of sea in some parts, majority will drop up to two to three meters. Because at the moment it's taking the pressure. Now, when it's released, gradually it floats on its own on the magma. It will not sink that much, it will rise most probably. So, we see most of the ports going down. Or the water level will sink most of the ports. If you were involved in after the, what you call, uh, breakoff of USSR and opening of the canals between the open oceans and the um, Caspian Sea, you've seen how the ports disappear under the water. I've seen a couple of them. Because of a few meters not adjusted, you'll find out the ports are not there. I've been witness to a lot of changes in time. I told you in a few times ago, a couple of weeks ago, I opened the book of humanity for humans to be ashamed of what they've done to themselves. And this is the beginning of it. We'll open. Everything man is done will be open for the man to see. It'll be very interesting, as I said before, how the human race, which race to go to America, will race out of America. They came with a boat, they go back with a boat, because there will be no space travel. But the only difference is 500 years of killing, destroying, and still carrying on with the same. Do we need them back, or we let them sink? My vote is, let the nature take its course. Because they will come and they carry on with the same habits I'll be seeing with the Jews. By giving them an estate, they became arrogance of the society in having a big boy supporting them. My call goes to the Jewish lobby. Sit on the table and talk with Keshe Foundation and find a solution for the state of Israel and amalgamate the Jews the way they were across the Arab world. We nourished you, we cherished you, and maybe now it's time back to go to the same process. But this, you see, just another one came on, flickering on, another earthquake. You see, they just flick, they just come on. This is a live condition. The problem is how fast we can come to an agreement with the government of China and Russia to build a safeguard for the Chinese and the Russians which go back to their countries after this mayhem in the coming time. Most of Western Europe cannot absorb millions of their own citizens. They don't have the facilities and financially they are bankrupt. If you go back on the internet, you see the warning I gave last year, put on by somebody in that snap, has been watched by a few million. So, we are listened to a number of people, millions of people listen. Separate this section and put it on the internet of what is to come. And let's see what the people will decide. We don't get into military, because military has no effect. There should not be and there shall be no borders. 
those who went and they said, we've seen the last dictators moving, they'll see the last dictators will really move out in the next few months, when there are no states to support. We got two choices, controlling the situation with a new technology that we can support and take what comes, or stay on the state of arrogant and be the last man standing, shooting ourselves in the foot. And it seems that mankind has chosen the second option. If you understood what I deliberately started with the teaching today, in explaining about the cascading of the units, would we create a condition that we can cascade with number of the reactors around the world, the whole of humanity to support. So, you see, the position is very clear. It's the end of one cycle for mankind, and beginning of the other. The process will repeat itself, most probably, if this planet is on for billions of years to come, with another part. It's happened here. I was explaining something very interesting. Maybe there is a truth in it. What we call that the planet Earth was hit by a meteorite and all the dinosaurs died, was in reality not true. The reality where we see the end of the dinosaurs due to change of the climate, most probably has come by the separation of the Australia. Australia in separation has created a smaller mayhem than a bigger brother, Southern America. If the mankind could trace this, you will see the separation of Australia from the main Panger was and created the main climate change. There was no meteorites. Don't ask me how I know. Put it this way. You'll find out I'm true. I'm correct. The process now will be so vast, if he managed to get rid of dinosaurs, with this separation and the process which we are going through, human race will be the ones who escaped into the caves. Maybe we have to escape into the nuclear side, what do you call it, silos, to stay alive. If we can find enough copper using the nuclear materials, to make food and energy out of it. And then we emerge out of these holes in thousands of years, when the planet is safe. Would there be a race, or would there be another mammal take over? These are not jokes, these are, these are part of the history of mankind on this planet. If you look at this map, I'll explain to you how human race was created. Human race, as a race, was not one. Due to the condition, the life was created simultaneously in different parts of this planet. And in time, when they came together, the stronger, could take over under the race. That's why you have blood type O, A, and B, and the whole caboodle of it. The condition of life, now that you understand plasma technology, the gas technology, condition of the effect of the presence of salt, and presence of water, and the presence of elements of this planet, copper, zinc, and you have seen the existence of all these across this planet, more or less everywhere. Now you understand, life in interaction with its gaseous parts and the matter part 
has led to life across this planet the same. How man came to go, as your theory says, from the West Africa, sorry, East Africa, into what is assumed on the West, on the East Coast, across and up, and creating the race, has little bit of truth in it, because the other rays came through the center. The same in Southern America, the same in East Asia. The climate and the condition was correct for different races as beings were developed. That's why you will understand, in so many ways, the theory of existence of the man is all the same. We are 99 and we can depend on it, because the mouse, the cat, the dog, the fish, the man, all came from the interaction of the atmospheric gaseous with the element, and it has one option. Depends how you decided to run, or how you decided to stay steady and walk up and become a plant. The structure you will see, man will be witness to the development of races in the space now that you take into space. You cannot interact, but you can observe the way we done for thousands of years. The process is the simplicity of it. But, if you make it complicated, you need peer review papers to confirm it. I peer review my papers, because I've been there, I've seen it through. So, Professor Gao, I hope you got the message, and you can pass the message to the scientists in the Chinese space technology. We need to take the spaceship program, as fast as possible, to final level, in the coming weeks, that at least we can protect the territorial lands of China. Because the others will have created enough mess, they'll be too busy cleaning up the mess. The only option at this stage is development of the new technology which can stand the hailstones of sand, hot lava, and the rest of it. We should be able to have enough knowledge as we done that you are creating a gas, you can heal the burns from the stones or the heat of the fire, which comes from the sky. You have to be able to stand when there is darkness and no vegetation growing, to feed your loved ones. Gans water, in different shape or form, will give you enough, because it's the field of the plasma. You need to rescue, you'll be amazed how fast the governments will start running to develop the technology, because now it's them. Go back on the teachings. Every single one of you open as many networks as teaching how to make guns, how to make it, how what it does, if you burn how it does, and spread the knowledge as you are the messengers of the peace. Don't get battled in who's right or who's wrong. Don't get battled into who told me what. You're all right and you do it your own way and it's always correct because you deal with the field of the plasma. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Keshe. Um, 
So we have uh, some people that have their hands up that will promote to panelists so they can ask a question there. There was uh, Tony Connell. Did you have a question? I'll unmute you. Hello, Tony. Did you have a, a yeah. Tommy? Rather? Can you hear my microphone? Yes, we can hear you. Um, I just have a quick question for Mr. Cash. I wanted to show him a new Gantt making methodology and have him comment on it. Can I show two pictures? That I took up my setup. Can we do that after when we finish with this part, please? That would be fine. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. Remind me later, and we'll uh, we'll entertain that. Okay. okay. Um, so, any any other questions that are uh, relevant to the uh, teaching that we just had here? Uh, Mario had a question there in the Zoom chat. I do have a question. Um, you mean on the uh, the update on the Chinese development? Yeah. It says an update on the Chinese development would be great. Is that something that you want to uh, share right now, Mr. Kesh, or shall we uh, try to focus on we, this? Uh, we, the Chinese development, as you know, we are in close contact with the Chinese in through the Kesh Foundation China. Uh, we have established a common line um, communication with Professor Xu. Professor Xu is directly in charge of all the works of the Cash Foundation and how we will develop the technology in China. Um, there is a large funding being raised by the Chinese for development and the spread of the technology in China. Uh, I was speaking to them yesterday. We are talking huge amount of funds has been raised to develop in the coming weeks. I will be spending a year or two in China to see the full development of the space and every other aspects of the technology in conjunction with the Chinese officials, government, cash foundations, and we are waiting for a process of clearance to go through. Once we get into that position, our main target, as we have agreed with Professor Xu and the Chinese um, side of the work of the foundation, is the rapid development of the OASIS systems that it can be available to all the Chinese across China. This is our main target. When we talk about the OASIS system, we're talking about the water, food, heat, and shelter. They're working on a number of designs. They're working on different aspects of the technology. And on our arrival, we'll sit on the table with our knowledge seekers in China, which is in huge numbers, for them to tell us how they see it and how we can support to do. Most probably daily teaching the way we do here in China will become known for us that we can translate everything possible. We have requested, and in the coming days, all the Cash Foundation all the teachings, all the paperwork, which has been transcribed, all the knowledge seekers will be sent to China for immediate translation into Chinese that it can be used for different aspects. Chinese scientists and officials have understood the beauty of the technology, the way the universe works, independent of the messenger. And they will use it because it's close to their understanding. We will develop the spaceship program very rapidly in China. Most probably, most probably, the spaceship institutes, those of you who applied and you complete the payment to join us, you will come to China. These are the last things we have to do at the moment. It's not confirmed. Once we agree, the spaceship program teaching will be in China. I'm proud to be part of it and we'll have the Chinese space scientists working with us to develop it very rapidly. I think most of you should have had the hint it's going to be in China. This is what our plan is. As we said, we'll be there for one or two years. So, 
those of you who applied to become motions, complete the process within next week or two because we are going to close it. We close it very rapidly because we'll have enough students in China to support and we have enough financial solid background in China, which is raised to complete the space technology for the Chinese community. Will the updates be published on the OASIS system so that everyone can build it? The update will be with the hand of the Chinese Cash Foundation. We will complete it in China and then it was in the hand of uh, Chinese government and Chinese Cash Foundation and our spokesman, Professor Xu, uh, in China. We will not, their version will not be released unless they agree to do it, which I think they will do. But Chinese are proud to share knowledge. But in a way, it has to be because the emergence of what has been explained in past are here has alerted the Chinese government for rapid development of oil system because we, there is not enough wood to take across. And don't forget, the Chinese are well trained. They know how difficult it is to get clean water, to get shelter, to get food in disaster areas. We've seen them having major earthquakes in the past years. So our prime target, as we have agreed with our colleagues, will be OASIS system. On my arrival, after we settled down in a couple of days, we start the full process. All the Chinese Cash Foundation groups, all the Chinese Cash Foundation laboratories, all the command of cover up there, working directly to pass the knowledge to the Chinese scientists and Chinese people. We are extremely uh, alert and aware of the threats by US government on my movement to America and by the Jewish lobby. But I tell you one thing, in us moving to China safely is a lifeline for your nations. Any other question? Uh, <clears throat> yes, there's uh, Guy actually had a question here. Guy? <clears throat> yes, uh, uh, Mr. Kesha, I, I, I don't know, I, I was not really clear about the timeline here, about uh, all these events. If there's something happening here in America, uh, we're talking about here a super volcano um, in, in Yellowstone, and I know that recently there was a lot of activities there. Um, if, uh, you know, usually they say uh, to be prepared is a very wise move. So if we're talking about a timeline, we're talking about within six months or within, within a year? The timeline has already started millions of years ago. Now this is uh, the final act for the game. It'll go. Once it starts, the, the pin released in uh, Chile a few months ago, as we said, now we see the the activities on one small portion, as you see in the North and Southern America, you see how heavily it's concentrated in one place because there is a pressure, a huge amount of pressure is building up for it to happen. It's not that it's going to hear a big bang, it's the sliding and releasing and in the compression, the volcanic uh, eruption in Yellowstone and in the Central America is, is inevitable because they are taking a lot of pressure from underneath. You got to realize one thing, that the solid mass is not flat underneath too. The same as on the top, it has uh, hills and troughs and everything else. So the, man la I mean, the main mass is pushing underneath to the solid part of the continental mass of the South America, and it will happen, the pressure is going through the center. You have to look in a real condition, the line of the Central America and the uh, Yellowstone. This is important, because if you look, you understand why a broader globe here, if you can extend it. Fabio, if you can bring the camera forward, you will understand why it's going this way. 
this is partially correct. But if you take exact position on the line, you will see where you're going to go. It passes, it has no choice. The planet is shifting on the same line. We are not going up that way. We are going on the landmass turn of the event. Look at the shape. You see the mass is twisting, pushing itself away. So now the push, this becoming a straight, has blocked. So this mass has stopped, but this mass was going. In fact, if you look at it, you go like this. So now it's in line. Yellowstone, the central part, what you call Midwest, all come into the same twist. West coast of Canada is heavily vulnerable, heavily vulnerable. There are two or three volcanoes which they sit under the North Pole, we never seen. They will crack up and the steam they'll create, will create a huge problem in the Northern Hemisphere. Because they just come under the snow. Look at the line, it just hits the correct way. If you look, if you can go very close, you see the Gibraltar and the southern Spain, Portugal will start the push because now it separates. And then we see the closure of the 100% in the next a few hundred years, the, we'll have a lake here more than the channel to go to the Suez Canal, because it will close. This is so narrow that it will close. And then it closes the, what we call the Persian Gulf will become a lake. It will totally become one landmass. It will push itself through and it will happen in time. This is not that as a piece you see, you can go to a Western movie and everything happens from beginning to the end in two hours. It's hundreds of thousands of years. And as I said, if you could look at the separation of this landmass, trace it back to the time of what you call the end of the life on this planet and the new cycle, what we call the end of dinosaurs, no meteorite has ever hit the planet. The same thing will happen here. Any other question? Yes, uh, Mr. Cash, there's um, um, a question from Stephen Hamper who asks, uh, Mr. Cash, should we be going to Rome in September for council meeting or stay at home to help? If you are a council member, a supporter council member, as in our talks yesterday, we had the 40 odd council members online. You don't need to be in Rome because, in fact, we are not building another UN conference. The whole position is that you are there for your nations, you are there for your language speaking of your country. And so, be amongst your people, that more people come to know how you are there to serve them than being present. We open Zoom channels live during the conference across the planet for the council members. It will be nice to have you, it will be fantastic to see a number of you, but this has to be a global event that all the members of the community are part of, not something happening in Rome. We are not organizing hundreds of or a thousand auditorium in Europe. We especially chose a little that in time we can explain to you. Being part of it is good. But now that the Universal Council is taking shape, you are the guardians of humanity in a correct conduct in the time to come. There will be no United Nations. The first things happen in this position, which comes in the next few months, you'll find out that all the United Nations ambassadors will be running home. They come to you because they'll be claiming the first seats on the planes because we are a member, we are the head of the United Nations, we are part of the United Nations. 
there is no nation to be united now. And as a council members, it's for you to be, to learn, to teach and support. If you are on planet Zeus or in Mars, do you come back to Earth for every conference? Or you bring the people which are part of you into the organization of the running and understanding the structure. You becoming a global, universal organizations. So, start looking outward, not inward. As I said, there is no title to go with it. Facilities to be able to serve will be provided, but the rest is on you. As I said, we never ask for donations. There is a line of donations, but interesting enough, nobody, hardly anyone compared to what we put outside has donated anything to the Foundation. Because, as I said, you're all takers. You made the pen, you made the system, you made your magraph system, you went to doctors who have the technology, you made the pads, and that's, thank you very much. We took it free. We don't ask, but man has to learn. Magraph system is, takes, and the more it gives, is there for us to serve. So, you'll see, you don't need to donate funds, but you donate your time, and so to serve humanity. You do not need to be in the council meeting in Rome. You're welcome, but remember one thing. What do you do if there is no plane by September? Very rare possibility. This is not something which I just talk. This is something which I can open my phone and read it to you as I've done before. Would there be a November election in the United States? Or would the Senate or people leave Obama to become for a third and a fourth and then maybe the fifth time president because there'll be nobody else to head the nation. Quite a high possibility. We warn the world leaders of such an event, and Americans read every single communication out of my phone and in my phone, so they already know. Organize events that Cash Foundation people can come as a member of the Council, to be with you, to support you, to spread the message of peace, and the systems that they can develop it. You have a problem? But then, You want my mouse? Oh, we see something new. Why? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, this, is, this is Flint. I just pulled up a recent map of the earthquakes in Yellowstone area in the last two weeks. Could you expand it, please? You see, we don't see. We see now uh, there was a, initially these are all 0.7 magnitude. Yesterday there was a four point magnitude. <laughs> If you go on the 16th, 15th, um, somewhere we saw a report of four-point magnitude earthquake. You see they are very shallow, very, very shallow. When you see earthquake this shallow, it means the magma is very close to the surface. Uh, Mr. Kesh, there was a 4.0 earthquake, uh, um, looks, looks like one and a half or two days ago, and rated right West Yellowstone in Montana. Yeah. It's building up. It's building up because the pressure, you go back, can you small it? Can you go backwards, please go positive? Go positive, go positive. 
Okay, you see, stay there. This pressure here, from this pool, is pulling the skin. And the pressure is building up here. And when the pressure builds up here, it's taking everything. The magma is weak, it will erupt. It will cover most of the, uh, what do you call it, West Coast, Midwest. The whole of Los Angeles, San Diego, will go in no time. Arizona, possibly on the verge, will get totally blocked. Anywhere in, in this region, we'll see massive losses. Because you've got to find something else, which is a part of the whole problem. Here, the two oceans link up back again. At Atlantic and Pacific will come together. Um, this is, do you see the, the pressure is there. Just if you look at, just look how heavy the pressure is here. And this is the push. And we see the push on Peru. So this is pushing, magma is pulling this way. This is a snapping, this is going. And when this goes, the top skin gets pulled, the pressure is coming. This is very much, if you look at it, if I sit this way and you try to push me from the back and pull my leg, all the pressure goes in my lung. This is the lung of the volcano. If I put my leg on your back and somebody pulls your leg forward, you're exactly in the position of American continent. The lung, the heart is taking the pressure because the land mass beyond this part is holding on. So the soft part, like your organ, when you play the accordion, collapses, pops up. This there is very, very clear, extremely clear. And this is the problem. This is why you don't see much earthquakes on this side of Los Angeles and the west coast of California, because it's pulled to the stretch. Now it's time for this to go, and then this goes, and the skin goes back, and all the plates free themselves. The Lyle in California is the biggest problem, is the biggest indicator of the beginning of the earthquakes. Because this will go, the skin is pulled, you can't pull this anymore. Now, the release to go, and it's like your spring will go back within a matter of seconds, then we start seeing sequence of earthquakes around the world, volcanic eruptions literally come to an end in a matter of a few years, and then we'll see relining of the continents. The, what is the, if we can get the full Asian continent into this, please. Can you reduce it? What it is, what you see here, this is a danger point in the future. Because now, this mass, if it pushes, will pull this one open. We start seeing a series of earthquakes around India. Saudi Arabia becomes an earthquake zone. In so many ways, all this will open up. Most probably, the Caspian Sea will open in long term back into the Atlantic Ocean. But that's a very, very long time. The, you don't need to imagine anything. This is a data by the American organization. Go on the other channels, you get more and more data. And then you will see, this is the problem. This is the biggest problem. This Lyle here is the biggest warning we are about to go. If this would have, if we would have had shift, seismic shift here, we would have had earthquake in Los Angeles area, in California, in Western Canada, we had time. But now there is no more, not so much. It means the skin is pulled fully, the pressure is taken by the center, we're about to go. It's just a matter of the last, as we say, is the last straw which breaks the 
back of the camel. This is a warning to the governments. They don't listen, or they say it's too late. Because don't forget at the moment, the decision made by the Iranian government is the same. The damage is so horrendous in Tehran that we leave it and we create a new capital. This is the decision of the Iranian government, official decision. Because we cannot handle the losses of millions. You have to understand the structure of Tehran. Tehran is on hills, continuous hills, and all the houses are built in three or four story high next to each other. Once you get the earthquake, one goes, the whole lot go. Then it goes, 5,000 people down the hill. Each apartment holds three, four or five people. You have six floors on each average, 20. You get 40 of them going, there it goes. And then it's one connected to the other. Iranian government policy is very clear. We'll do nothing when the earthquake happens. We just move the capital because we don't have the resources to do. But unfortunately, the American nation is so bankrupt that he can't even find a new capital. We've got to stay where you are if it's still intact. The biggest bankrupt nation claiming the first in the world. How is possible? We don't understand now. We see the repetition of Louisiana. When it comes, you'll find out as we say in the English word, fair coats and no knickers, which means very looking very good, but nothing underneath of it to keep yourself warm. The fair coats will blow out very well. The only people who carry their fair coats and they have everything underneath of it is the Chinese and the Russians. In Europe, it's already stripped. If you are a European citizen, every town hall, every statue, every column you see in your city is already mortgaged. Up to the hilt, loaned to the bankers in the West. You don't own anything. When you go and see your town hall, ask them how much town hall has been debted. Most of the town halls, most of the statues in your cities in Europe is already pre-sold or loaned for the money to do the things they could not pay because they could not steal from the rest of the world the way they used to. The fact will come up and then you have to face it. We saw what happened in Arizona, we saw what happens in Louisiana, and we'll see the rest of it. In Louisiana, everybody thought America was a very rich country. We saw worse condition than Africa. Worse condition than Africa. And it taken them years, they haven't managed to sort out a small flood, let alone such a situation. Don't forget, as I said before, California is the eighth largest economy on this planet, and it's going to go. So the America goes to somewhere below the fifth and the sixth nation in the world. Because the main part of the support of economical support will not be there. And the other problem is, as I warned, in the governments, when such a scale happens, Fukushima was a child play. Would this make a new race out of human race, which can stand radiation? Most probably. Would we mutate to a new form, or would we take to space because we cannot understand the environment? I give all my support to the Chinese government to see them into space as rapid as possible in a correct way. And this is where we are committed to, and will carry on our commitment. In the West, they have silenced the technology that they carry on with their abuse, so they stay with it as it is as not many people know in the West how to use to make uh, little things to help themselves, to their dogs or their family. So, what doesn't exist, you don't miss. <laughs>